Now, before you go settling in on the couch for another dateless Saturday night, I urge you to pick up your mobile phone. In a recent survey conducted by Virgin Mobile, it was found that 50% of mobile customers alert via SMS, while another 53% have used an SMS to ask someone out on a date. Now, the survey delved even deeper to discover that one in four people reckon SMS helps them to get lucky. It's a brand new craze sweeping the world. It even has a name. It's called textual attraction and will have tongues wagging all over the world asking you just how is your text life? Which reminds me. So as you know, I'm looking for a co-presenter. Now that Nate, he was pretty cute, wasn't he? What do you reckon we give him a go? Welcome to WAB TV. Come down for this Wednesday at Walkabout. We have student night on with great music and even better girls. So what do you think? Do you think we'd make a great couple? American football, or gridiron as it's known, is a distinct type of football developed in the United States in the 19th century from soccer and rugby. It first came to Australia in 1983 and by 1995 gridiron was being played in every state and territory of Australia. And tonight, I'm not just a television reporter, I'm a Gold Coast Stingray. You remember Bob we met earlier? Well we've come to see his house to uh, check out where he lives. A bit posh, are you sure this is Bob's house? Yeah? Okay fine, let's go see if he's in, come on. Oh, hello. Oh, hi. Is Bob in? He's just upstairs sleeping. Bob, 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 Bob. You're watching Overseas Property TV, and this is your 60 second news update. For 150 years, the Fremantle Prison was home to hundreds of Western Australia's most notorious and dangerous criminals. When the prison finally closed its gates in 1991, its remaining inmates were transferred to surrounding prisons. But with the introduction of torchlight tours, which have uncovered a series of unexplained events, it appears some of the prison's inmates may not have entirely left. We have sent the lovely Bob the challenge of being a tour guide for the day. Bob, here is your sign. Everyone, this is a zebra crossing. Once a zebra fell on the street and everyone's like, that's a brilliant idea. Let's cross that zebra. Let's step on its head. So if you were to mark Bob one to ten on how good he was as a tour guide, what would you give him? Six. Six. Eight. He was very funny. So Bob, how do you feel the challenge went? <laughs> so you found yourself bang smack yet again in the middle of another intriguing foreign city um, with nothing more than your backpack and your travel guide. So what do you do? Where do you start? Sure, I mean, you could book yourself onto an organised tour, but with a little less of the foreign currency in your wallet than you'd have hoped for, well, that's hardly an option. So I suggest you head straight for the nearest pub and start chatting with the locals. I mean, after all, it is their town. 